Florida Costa. Ladies and gentlemen, from the penthouse to the yacht house, it's Timmy the Termite, Tim Dinner from Tap. Stay right in it, right here, right close to your mouth, right here. Let, make love, All right, make now. love to the microphone, Timmy. Don't worry, I'm going to. You all promised me fruits and vegetables. I came prepared. All right, let's go. You all ready? Okay, I wore a hat tonight, so none of you give me a bunch of crap about my shiny head, okay? All right, look better. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, I don't want to hear a bunch of stuff about my shiny head tonight, but I really don't care because, fortunately, Marlon, one of my favorite people in the industry has always told me, Timmy, you have a perfect head. You don't have all those dents and wrinkles and bumps and all that stuff like everyone else. Oh! oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Clean! Oh. Right here. Oh. What about how my brothers with like dents and creases in their creases? Oh, okay. Tim, you have to stay in the mic though. I'm trying to. So anyway. Okay, I'll tell you what, instead of being pissed off at me, why don't you all in the back tell them to get in the mic? All right. Get in the mic. Okay, 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 okay. So, all of you, my brothers that have dents and creases in their head, I came up with an idea for 1995, Bondo for Bald Guys. I thought it could work. And also, of course, we have Stolen in the Can. Another 995, it could work out. Now, a lot of you have said, you know, you made fun of me being bald and stuff like that. It's okay. And I finally decided maybe I should go to the hair club for men because I got tired of women trying to tow me underwater. So, you guys are the first ones to see it tonight, live, right here, in person, my hair club for men piece. Nice. <laughs> it's not just a client. He's a customer. What do you think? Like it? Okay, good. You can't perfect it. Hey, it's Okay, so anyway, a lot of you know me as Tim Dunner, a lot of you know me as Timmy the Termite, that's actually my stage name. A lot of people ask me, why did you do Timmy the Termite? I figured, what the hell, we got Larry the Cable Guy, we got, excuse me, Joe the Plumber, and Obama the President. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I like it. I like, but the problem is, you know, I wouldn't want to be President. Look at all the problems he has right now. We got global warming, we got all these other bad things going on, the economy and everything else like that. And it's, it's really kind of sad, but you know, I'm looking at, you know, we're, we're all going broke, we all know it. My 401k became a 101k like everybody else's, then it became a box of special case, I mean, the hell with it, I'm eating the damn thing. But the government has a plan, if we all put our boxes together, we'll have somewhere to live until it rains. Now, Women's Council actually asked me to share some of the stories of the last 38 years I've been in this business that have happened to me on inspections. So, I know a lot of you guys are really smart, and a lot of you may believe this and some of you may not. How many of you believe I can fit through this? Okay. <laughs> when we actually get to an inspection, you know, we go through the door, we hand them a card, we introduce ourselves, and we ask people, do you know how to get underneath the house? And many, many years ago, this little old lady looked at me really cute, she pointed at the fence screen. Yeah. So she looked at me and says, how are you going to get through that? And I said, well, I'm going to bend over, you're going to kick me as hard as you can, I'm going to fly right through there. Well, I bent over to look at something, and thank God I turned around, because she was standing like this. Imagine me trying to share with everyone why my face was all cut up. To this day, I don't know if she was going to kick me because I was being a smartass, or she really thought I could fit. Had another lady one time, she looked at me, and she said, How do you get through there, Tim? She goes, Oh, I see what you mean. But my favorite one, true story, these are all true stories. Okay. I know you thought they were fake and that's why you were talking, but actually they're true stories, so listen close. Yes. But my favorite one was, the guy looked at me and says, how are you going to get underneath the house? And I said, well, I have some magic dust, I'm going to sprinkle it on him and get really small and go right through. And he looked at me and goes, wow, the wonders of modern science. I said, yeah, you read the Inquirer too, don't you? He goes, yeah, how'd you know? Okay, one, one day, um, I know staging's become a really big thing in the industry. What has? Staging. Oh, staging. Staging. You know, and a lot of you know, a lot of agents are actually letting their client stage stuff because they don't have very much money. Well, last year I actually walked into a bedroom and a guy left his inflatable love doll in the corner. So I looked at her. I said, "Don't look so surprised. You knew I was coming." <laughs> Luckily, the agent was with me because I can hear hear them now. Oh my God! How did that get there? 
So, the other thing too is, I know agents like to get us all together, the stager, property inspector, termite, everybody at the property at the same time. Why do you guys park in front of the house? So we gotta look all our stuff down the street. All right. Um, So please forgive me. Um, so we said no. You know, I, you know what? I really was expecting more heckling too, and I had a lot of stuff prepared. I actually went to the San Jose Police Department the other day and picked up four used tasers. Um, there were some voltage issues, but I figured you guys would take your chances. So, all right. Anyway, so we'll get we'll get back to some of the stories too. Now, I know I know a lot of you know I'm a registered Santa, and I know last year a lot of you were bitching because I gave away those little peppermint candies. Okay. But you know, times are tough for Santa, just like everyone else. I mean, we've got global warming. That's right. Yeah. I may have to relocate to Florida. You know, Mrs. Claus became a cougar, ran with all my damn elves. <laughs> you know, so I thought, okay, well, you know, maybe Santa needs the date. So I thought, okay, well, I'll go on Mass.com. That should work. So you guys may have to help me with my byline, because I'm not getting, I'm not really getting a lot of emails. You know, Jolly Old Elf comes once a year. It's not working, I don't think, so. Oh, let's see, what else is but say anyway, how many people think I can fit through this? Your main headliner tonight. 